I noticed that uh, the Shadow Chancellor did not say in her speech this week that you would ban zero hours contract. Uh, she seemed to be saying that there would be some conditions around zero hours contracts, but uh, you've come a long way from uh, a year or so ago when the Labour position was clearly to ban zero hours contract, or have I got that wrong? With a huge amount of respect, I think perhaps you have got that wrong. Labour has always been clear that with all of these measures, they need to be implemented in a way that preserves the good of what we see in the labour market. And we were always clear that there needs to be flexibility available for particular types of work. The problem at the moment, however, is that so, flexibility so, 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 too so, so, often... To me, can I just stop you for a... Can I just get absolutely clear? So there's no... not Under Labour, there will be no ban on zero-hours contracts because I know many people who think that is what Labour said. Well, we, we are going to ban them and I can set out the detail of that if it's of interest. We've said that there should be an assessment period to understand the pattern of people's hours and then ensure that people's contracts reflect that. Now, the reason why we said that is because we've got huge numbers of people in our country who are repeatedly and repetitively on these zero hours contracts when they could have a contract that actually reflected the hours that they work. If they had one that was more reflective of what they actually do in the workplace, that would provide them and their family with far more stability. And actually, this is really important yeah. for productivity in our country. And if I may, but, Trevor, but... You, you mentioned Rachel's uh, speech. I read that excellent speech, the May's lecture, and she was really clear about how important that new deal with those provisions to make work pay, how important that is for boosting productivity in our okay. country.